If you've been wanting to grow your audience on social media and have looked into social media growth strategy at all within the last couple of years, you've probably heard the name ManyChat. ManyChat has sort of taken the social media world by storm and for good reason. It's a tool that's basically revolutionized how we increase engagement, automate direct messages and comments, and grow our businesses on platforms like Instagram and Facebook. Almost immediately after our team started using ManyChat, we saw a drastic increase in both reach and engagement and have absolutely loved using this tool as an invaluable resource to grow our online presence on social media. While we're planning on creating several videos on how to do more targeted specific tasks within ManyChat on this channel in the future, today's ManyChat tutorial is more of a broad overview looking at exactly what ManyChat is and the basic features and capabilities it offers. So enough talk, I'm gonna go ahead and hand it over to my social media manager to walk you through it. Hi, this is Claudia with Team Hayes, and in this beginner tutorial, I'll be showing you the basics of ManyChat. Really quick before we get started, if you enjoyed this tutorial and want to learn more about ManyChat, we've put together a free ManyChat mastery guide just for you. It covers things like the benefits of ManyChat, how to build flows with step-by-step -step instructions, how to structure captions, choosing keywords, and more. You can grab your free copy with the link below in the description. So let's dive in. Once you get signed up and get your account connected to either an Instagram or Facebook account, you'll be brought here to the home tab. This is where you'll keep track of different automations. Because this is a blank account, you don't see much data here. But once you get established, you'll see different stats here on your automations. You can navigate the left-hand side here through these different tabs to get to different areas of mini chat, like your contacts, your automation building, live chat, broadcasting, and settings. For this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the automation tab, but just know, your contacts tab, this is gonna house all of your users that have interacted with your automations. Your live chat tab will hold all of your messaging that would be in either Facebook or Instagram, so you can manage it all here. Your broadcasting tab will allow you to send one-time messages to your audience like promotions or updates. And of course, in your settings, you can manage things like your channels, your automations, your inbox, and the general settings. An important thing to note here in your settings tab is the ability to troubleshoot should you have any issues with your many chat flows responding properly. For this example, we're using Facebook, so I will come down here to the messenger channel. This is where you can do things like establish a greetings text, default replies, a welcome message, conversation starter, and more. The main thing I wanna show you here is how to refresh your Facebook permissions. So sometimes many chat might get a little disconnected and the messages might not send properly. So a good first step can be to come down here and refresh permissions. And if that doesn't work, you can also temporarily disable the connection and re-enable it. This can help with most of your troubleshooting issues. Now let's create a simple automated flow. We're gonna head over to the automation tab and click on new automation. When you click on new automation, it's gonna bring up these ready to go templates, including different flow builders with AI and some pro features as well. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna start from scratch. Now that we're in our automation builder, I wanna point out the two important areas that you'll be working with. This box here is where you'll select your triggers and then any other box or node as it's called in technical terms will be where your messaging, actions, and other functions. You can click the screen and drag around to view different areas of your flow, or on some devices, you may be able to scroll up and down and side to side with your mouse. For this tutorial, we'll be building a very basic flow so that you can see the simple function for ManyChat. Your screen might look a little bit different depending on what plan you have. This is the automation builder in our pro account. As you can see, we have Instagram and Facebook set up and there are other tools available in the pro plan as well. So let's work on building our first automation. So you'll come here to this first node and click new trigger. And for this example, we'll use Instagram. As you can see, there are many different triggers, including a user comments on your post or reel, a user replies to your story, user sends a message, a user clicks on your Instagram ad, just note this is a pro feature, a user comments on your live, or a user clicks on a referral link. For this example, we'll use user comments on your post or reel as that is the most commonly used. Next, we'll need to select which post or reel we want to use in the automation. With a free plan, you can select a specific post or reel. This means that you'll need to select from content that's already been uploaded to your account. If you have a pro plan, you can select all post or reels or the next post or reel. We typically like to use the all post or reels function because this allows you to create one automation with one keyword that can be used across the board on any post or reel requiring less work on your end. The free plan is still effective with this option, the specific post or reel. Just know that you'll need to create a new automation for every post. For this example, we'll use all poster reels, but just know that the specific poster reel function is the same setup. Next, we'll need to choose the specific keyword that will start our DM automation. Some important things to keep in mind when you're choosing a keyword is to choose something that's easy to type out and difficult to misspell. For this example, we'll choose the word plan. Now, in the case that someone did misspell this word, you can choose other variations as well, such as plain with an I or plain with an E. 
Also note that these keywords are not case sensitive, so you can do this in uppercase or lowercase and they are still recognized as the same. You can also include any keywords here that you want to be excluded from being triggered. Another option would be to select any comment, and that would mean that the automation would trigger anytime someone comments anything on that post or reel. We don't recommend this since you can end up having the automation sent to people who didn't request it. Next, you'll need to set up a public reply in the feed. So here you can set up multiple random replies that will be commented back to your user every time they comment the keyword on your post or reel. You can set these up to reflect your brand voice, personality, and using emojis in different language that is common with your copy. ManyChat automatically plugs these examples in, but I would recommend changing them around to fit your brand voice so that it sounds like it's coming from you. You can also select no, but we do recommend adding these random replies to help boost engagement on your post. So now we'll click save and that will set up our first trigger. Another commonly used trigger is user sends a message. This is very easy to set up. You can do this by clicking on detect a specific keyword in a message. ManyChat also offers an AI function where they recognize the intention of a message. And most commonly we'll use this option, detect specific words in a message. And we'll use our same keyword here, plan. You can also add your variations. Note right here where it says if message contains, this basically allows ManyChat to detect this keyword in a whole message. Sometimes that can trigger things accidentally. So we recommend to click on this and change it to message is. That will help avoid accidentally sending automations to people that didn't request it. From here, you can click create. And now you have two commonly used triggers set up. Next, we'll need to choose our first step. This will be the message that's sent when the automation is triggered. For this example, we'll click on Instagram. But if you're using Messenger, you can click that too. And now this will pop up with this editing box here, which will reflect in our message box. Here. So depending on what your automation is set up for, commonly they're used to deliver links to users requesting things like a freebie or a coupon or a video link. Whatever that might be, this message box is where you're going to enter that message and include your link. It can be more complicated than that, but for this example, we're going to keep it very basic. So for this example, I've said, hi friend, sounds like you're interested in grabbing my awesome freebie. So this sentence is just to remind them what they asked for. And then the sentence below says, click the link below to download for free. And this just prompts them to click on the link. So you can either include a link here in the message directly, but we recommend adding a button. So right here you can click add button and this will bring up this menu to give you all these different options on what the button will go to. For this example, we'll click on open website and enter the website URL right here. And up here where it says button title, you can name the title. Add an emoji if you like and customize it, however fits your brand voice. And so now when your user receives this message, they'll be able to click on that button as shown here and go to the link that you provided. From there, you can click on preview to see how it would look in the messaging and even test the link. Once you're happy with your automation, you can click on set live and you're good to go. There are so many other functions that you can use within the ManyChat automation builder, such as adding things like a quick reply. If you wanna add a quick reply, you can add a similar sentence like the one before saying something like, sounds like you're interested in downloading my awesome freebie, but instead of directly offering the link, you can say, click below to let me know. And for this option, we'll add a quick reply and just say yes. And when this button is pressed, we wanna add another Instagram message box and now we can use this message box to deliver our link. So similar messaging in this, showing some excitement or whatever is relevant to your brand voice, and then prompting them again to click the link below to download my free guide. Here you can then add a button again, title the button, and add your website. And now we'll come up to the right hand side here and preview it. And now you can see where this is interactive. In this example, you can click yes, and now it will bring up the message with the link. We recommend also testing this out directly on the platform to make sure everything is working properly. And from there, you can click update, or set live and it will be good to go. Well, there you have it, friend. That's a very basic setup of ManyChat automation flows. There's so much more that can be done on ManyChat and so much more to learn. If you're interested in giving ManyChat a try, they have a few different plan options, including their free plan, their pro plan for $15 a month, and their elite plan, which comes with custom pricing. Their free plan includes up to a thousand contacts free of charge with channel access to Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Its key features are automated conversations, up to a thousand contacts. You can access basic growth tools to drive leads to your automation and have up to 10 customer tags. The pro plan includes channel access to Instagram, Facebook, SMS and email, and TikTok. It also includes everything in the free plan, 
plus unlimited contacts, expanded customer reach, the ability to build advanced campaigns, analytics and insight tools, integrations with tools you already use, such as Zapier or your email provider, the option to have your own branding and email support. The Elite Plan includes everything in the Pro Plan, as well as dedicated onboarding for you and your team, strategic recommendations, priority support, guided experience, and access to expert crafted automations. So if you're interested in giving Money Chat a try, we have a link in the description box below that will give you a free 14 day trial for their pro plan so that you can try out all the amazing pro features and start automating your messaging efficiently today. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know.